Hello friends, Osiris here and in today's video we're going over specific dates and times for any special Pokeball that you want to get out of the item printer. <laughs> So we recently covered a video on the channel going over the new RNG mechanics of the item printer, how you can manipulate this with the date and time in your Switch. As of recording that video, we only had a couple of target times and dates, but in today's video, I'm going to go through each and every one of the special Pokeball drops that you can get from the item printer and show you how you can best farm for them using the dates and times that we've collated. So you can go after whichever special Pokeball you want and farm as many of them as you like. So I'll talk you through the initial setup, which will be the same for every other subsequent job that we're going to be doing for specific Pokeballs. After this, you're going to do the same setup every single time. You want to position yourself in front of the item printer like this. And you want to be getting to this option i want to print something so once you're at this screen and you're ready you want to hit your home menu and then come down to your system settings then into system and then into date and time make sure your synchronized clock via the internet is set to off so it opens up the date and time options then click into this for this initial setup you're going to be wanting to use the date of the 16th of april 2024 with a time of 7 50 a.m so this is the time that you need you're going to need to have an external clock or stopwatch available i use my phone that's the easiest one to do and you want to sync this up as soon as you hit a in game you want to be hitting the start on the stopwatch at the same time now the delay for this is eight seconds now because i am on an oled switch my delay is always going to be minus one. I know that from trial and error. You can do the same yourself, but your generally delay is looking like minus one if you're on an OLED or minus two if you are on a older switch system. So we know we've got a seconds target of eight seconds. So I'll be hitting a in game on seven seconds. If your delay is minus two seconds, you'll be hitting it on six seconds. So here we go to get this initial setup done to get the Pokeball Lotto set up. We need to just hit A, here we go, and then straight back into game, and we wait for that seven seconds, so five, six, seven. It should take us through. We should hit a delay of eight. First off, when we're doing this initial setup, you only want to do one job. Just use whatever material you've got available to you and complete the job. This will just be for one item, but the item that we're going to get from this initial setup is always going to be, if you do it correctly, an ability patch which is one of the most high cost value items that you can get in the game so you can use these to farm them to get money very very quickly and as you can see here we've got the ability patch and after this as well it's always going to guarantee us getting the pokeball lotto set up so if you're doing this step anyway to begin with it's always a really good one to do because it gives you such a high cost item as well as the pokeball lotto now the first pokeball job that we're going to go after for specifically is going to be for six beast ball drops now we'll go through the subsequent pokeballs after this uh, but i'm going to show you this process with the initial setup first so you've got a better idea of how you approach it once the pokeball lot is set up just cancel out of it and then come back to this screen and then you want to start a similar conversation again hover over that i want to print something with the npc character here then we're going to hit our home menu again then we're going to come down into system settings and then down into system and date and time once again and we're going to use a new date and time for this next one now for six guaranteed beast ball drops the date that we're going to be using for this is going to be the 6th of july and it is going to be 2050 so we have to go quite far in the future for this one and the time that we need for this one is 4 55 a.m and the target seconds are going to be 16. So I'll be hitting it with my minus one delay on 15 seconds in game. And if yours is minus two, you'll be hitting it on 14 seconds with your timer. So you just need to make sure that you sync these up correctly. So we'll go A starting. And if I can get the timer on the screen, of course I will. We'll come back into game. We need to wait till 15 seconds before we commence this job. And if we do it right, we'll get six guaranteed beast balls every time we do this. 13, 14, 15. So let's see if we've done it right. And don't be disappointed if you get it wrong a few times. I've been doing this a lot and there are a lot of times that I just miss my target time by a second or two. I just get my timings wrong. It's important to try and get your external clock synced up correctly so you've got a good way to judge whether or not you're getting 
the target time right or not. Mine's minus one, of course, yours might be minus two. It's just trial and error until you get it right. But we do look like we might have hit it. So getting everything right this time, you'll get the results. And there we go. There's the six beast ball drops. So it's a really good one specifically if you're just wanting beast balls. Of course, that initial setup is there with the ability patch. So you're going to be able to farm those. You're never going to really run out of money. You're kind of money farming at the same time of doing this with that initial setup. And then once you're at this stage, you can cancel out of the Pokeball Lotto option here and you start the whole process again. You would do that similar job for the setup with the ability patch. So again, you would just come to here come back down into your date and time. Once you've got that option set up on your game, date and time, and then you want to put that initial date in that we had, which was the 16th of April, 2024. Change your date all the way back down, 2024, and at 7.50 a.m. Sync it up, and our target time is hitting OK on this screen at 7 seconds for 5, 6, 6, 7. And if we've done it right, we should get an ability patch right again, and that again sets up the Pokeball Lotto that we want. So we can go ahead and go for those Beast Balls, or... As we'll get into throughout this video, go for any of the other Apricom or special Pokeballs that are available through the item printer. The maximum drops per time. Of course, you just need this initial setup done. There you can see we've got an, another ability patch. It's a really good way to just farm these ability patches. And like we've said already, this will set up the Pokeball Lotto and we'll be ready to go for all of those other special Pokeballs using this facility. So again, before you put your target time or date in, you just cancel out of this and then you get set up onto the screen, ready to press A and then go and put your new target date in. So if you are wanting to specifically go for moon balls using this method, you would do the initial setup, get the Pokeball Lotto set up and then come down into your date and time. And for six guaranteed moon balls every time, you would use the target date of the 9th of June, 2024 with a time of 7.34 a.m. And your delay here is 10 seconds. So if your delay is minus one, you'll be hitting the I want to print option on nine seconds after confirming your date and time. If you're on an older switch model and your delay is minus two seconds, you'll be hitting the I want to print option on eight seconds. Now, if you do this correctly, the initial setup and then with this specific date and time, it will guarantee you six moon balls every time you do this. So a really good way to farm for specifically just moon balls. A target date and time which guarantees you six friend balls every time you do this is going to be the 16th of December 2002. And the time is going to be 7.26 p.m. with a second target time of 44 seconds. Again, depending on your delay, minus one, minus two, you'll be hitting it on either 43 seconds or 42 seconds to guarantee yourself six friend balls every time you do this. Six guaranteed heavy balls using this method. The target date is going to be the 12th of June 2004 at 1 p.m. With a second target time of 56 seconds. So depending on minus one, minus two delay that you've got with the current switch that you're using, you'll be hitting the I want to print option after confirming the date and time in your switch console on either 55 or 54 seconds. But doing this will guarantee you six heavy balls every time you do it. For six guaranteed fast balls, the date and time that you're going to need is the 31st of October. 2001 at 7 41 a.m the target time for seconds is 28 so depending on your delay you'll be hitting the i want to print option in game after confirming your date and time on either 27 seconds or 26 seconds doing this will guarantee you six fast balls though for love balls the only one that I've been able to get working is going to be for five guaranteed love balls. So still a pretty good haul along with some other special drops when you do this. The target date for this one is the 3rd of May 2024 and it is at 12.36 a.m. with a target second time of 41 seconds. Again, depending on your delay, you'll be either hitting this at 40 seconds or confirming I want to print at 39 seconds. 
The six safari balls guaranteed every time you want to use the target time and date of the 2nd of January 2049 at 1.20 a.m. with a second target time of 22 seconds. Again, depending on your delay, you'll be hitting that at either 21 or 20 seconds on the I want to print job. But doing this will give you the six guaranteed safari balls. To guarantee yourself six sport balls, you use the date the 8th of November 2049 at 11.07 a.m. with a second target time of 14 seconds. Again, going with your delay that you know your switch has got. Either hitting the I want to print option on 13 seconds if you're minus one delay or 12 seconds if you're on an older switch model. For six guaranteed dream balls, you're going to be using the target date and time of the 20th of March 2019 at 11.40 a.m. And your target second time for this one is quite short. So this is a quick turnaround. You've got to be pretty quick is six seconds. So if you're minus one, you need to be hitting this on five seconds. And if you're minus two second delay, then you need to be hitting this on four seconds after confirming the date and time in your switch console options for guarantee five master balls we covered this in our previous video but we will include it here you'll be using the date and time of the 25th of march 2016 at 7 or 8 p.m with a second target time of 18 seconds again based on your delay you'll be hitting either 17 seconds on i want to print or 16 seconds if you're on an older model with the I want to print in game after confirming your date and time to guarantee you five master balls. Alert and level balls are the only balls that I was not able to find a date and time for. But if they do get found, I will leave the specific date and time targets for both of these balls for larger drops in the pin section of this video down below. But for now, we have a really nice way to use only one date setup for a guaranteed 10 special Pokeball drops. And in these drops includes two level balls and one lure ball. So it's an easy way to farm for these specific Apricorn balls until we get separate dates and times for each of the balls to farm. Credit for this specific date and time, of course, goes over to Anubis on X for posting this one. And the target date for this one is going to be 21st of March 2039 the time of 12 14 pm and 42 seconds now to do this you're going to just do the initial setup as always but you're only going to need to do this for this one specific job now if you've done this correctly you'll get the drop of nine pretty feathers straight after this the pokeball lotto will activate and you're not going to cancel out of this one now you're just going to put any material required for 10 jobs into the pokeball lotto now into the item printer and this will guarantee you 10 special pokeball drops and as you can see when it is complete here there is no in between steps it's just a seamless setup you're going to get two level balls and one lure ball for your troubles along with an array of heavy ball dream ball and friend ball so a real good selection of balls but you do specifically get a larger amount of level balls and there is a lure ball included in that and because of the ease in setting this up i've included this one here for the lure and the level balls until we get specific bigger drops for those two balls which like i've said i'll drop in a pinned comment down below when we do get them so with that initial setup for the ability patches, you're going to be able to farm those, never run out of money with them. And we've got a way now for you to have specific target dates for each individual special Pokeball, whichever one you want. I'm sure each and every one of you have a favorite one of these special Pokeballs. So having these specific date and times hopefully is very helpful. Let me know though down below in the comment section. I'd love to know which one of these you'll be targeting most, which one you'll be farming more of than the others. And I hope you found all of the information in today's video very helpful. Have fun farming these special Pokeballs with the item printer. And of course, it's still very early days before we've got any additional dates. I'm sure we'll have more information coming out very soon. And I will keep updating this process to make it as easy and as seamless as possible for you as and when that information does come out. Of course, as well, there is not only the special Pokeball drops that you can do with the Pokeball Lotto, but the double item drops as well. 
we will do a separate video on that so you can form things like the ability patches a lot easier stellar terror shards and all of the other high cost items that are available through the iron tube printer so we will keep collating this data updating this video with this information so keep an eye out on everything and if you have enjoyed today's video do drop a like it really does help the video out helps the channel out if you want to stay up to date with all of the content covering the item printer and everything else in pokemon scarlet and violet do hit the subscribe button and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends thank you so much for tuning in take care of yourselves and bye bye